So today's video is going to be a short and sweet one. I just thought I would come here and show you this functionality uh, of Adobe Firefly that I got access to. This is a little bonus video. If you haven't seen my other video going through these other two features here, the text to image generator and the text effects one, which is a really cool one, uh, I highly recommend you check it out. I'm going to link it here. But yeah, let's talk about the recolor vectors. So first of all, a vector is basically a file if you're not familiar with the, the terms, I'm going to try to explain it uh, in a simple way, but it's a file that you can scale up or down without it losing quality. And not only that, but, you know, if we're talking about an illustration such as this one here, each of these details, they would be like separate layers. So basically, you know, if I wanted to change the color, uh, this beige color here to red, I could just select this. Whereas with an image, for example, let's say a JPEG, you can do that so easily. So yeah, I think that's the best explanation I can give. The file formats are usually SVG, EPS, AI, or even PDFs. PDFs can also be vectors. So at first I was kind of hesitant. I wasn't sure if this was such, you know, an interesting tool for them to, to release, because if you have Illustrator, you can change colors very easily. This is not like anything out of this world. Um, but then I thought about illustrations and it does make a little bit of sense. When you click generate, it's going to ask you to upload an SVG file, which is also kind of limiting. So we're going to uh, go to FreePick, which is, you know, my go to website for a lot of design assets. And I'm going to find a vector here just for us to test it. I'm also going to show you on Illustrator, like how I would recolor a vector on Illustrator. And we're also going to need Illustrator to export this vector as an SVG because a lot of them are going to be in EPS file format. So let me find one here and you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So this is a vector. This is an illustration. So I'm going to download it here and we're going to open it first on Illustrator. So here it is. So this is what I meant when I said you have layers, you know, in it, especially in illustrations. So if I select this mountain here, I can come over here and change the, the color to green. So, you know, very easily, like less than five seconds, I don't know. And now I'm going to try to upload the EPS file just to see what it says, because uh, I have the AI and EPS. So let me see. They, yeah, there's probably an error here. You can see there's a really fine line, uh, red line here. So it probably says, you know, that you can upload that type of file. So I'm going to export this one as an SVG, and we're going to see what this recolor vector functionality, functionality does. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm pressing Command Alt E and it opens this screen here to export for screens. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select here SVG. So now we have the SVG file here. I'm going to drag it and drop it. And now I can describe the color palette that I wanted to generate. So I'm going to do um, pastel colors. Let's see what it's going to do. So this is what this functionality does. Let me see here what they have, uh, what properties we can change. And here you have, okay, let me move myself here. But here you have the color harmony, you know, rules. So I can go over that in a different video. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go into it right now, but okay. Yeah, this is nice, you know, but at the same time, you can do that um, with Illustrator. So maybe I'm, I'm missing something here. Maybe I'm not you know, thinking properly how to use it. I don't know. This is basically what this feature does. And yeah, it's it's cool. Let's say, okay, maybe here I have to remove some stuff. Clear all. Dark blue midnight. And then let's see if it saves as an SVG file. Yeah, it saves as an SVG. So that's cool. You know, so I think this is nice for complex illustrations so you don't have to change layer by layer but other than that i don't know i don't see me using it you know as a, a brand designer i'm not gonna import my client's logo here and see how it looks in different colors i can just do that on illustrator i think this is gonna take a lot more time than just going on illustrator and, and doing that so yeah i think it's valid for illustrations like i said maybe i am missing the the point of this feature but let me know in the comments what you think like is this something you would like to have access to is this something you would use so yeah i'm curious to know your thoughts like i said i have another video about adobe firefly i'm gonna link it here and you can go watch it thank you so much for watching this one and i will see you in the next one